what's up guys it's Sems and on my Q&A video I did a little while ago uh, someone requested to see all my bone collection and I only showed a small handful of them so I figured um, as I'm sorting them out and just kind of make putting them in an order I thought I would do that video today so um, the only one it's missing is apart from another one of these which is down the shed but I can I'll get that in a minute and a magpie skull then it's these and my big disc skull, which is upstairs. So I'm going to start at the beginning and work my way across. So these two here are female fallow deer skulls. They're one of our larger species of deer. And moving on, this here. When we found it, we didn't actually know what this one was from. We kind of thought it could be from a deer. And then I noticed that here had been sliced. This here is actually a pig skull. So yeah, that's definitely my most random find out of all these. Um, I am interested in skulls, but if they're like, if it was like a dog skull or something, I wouldn't be as interested. But I thought I'd bring this one back anyway, because it was definitely a different one. Then, oh, I've also got some other skulls upstairs, but they're the same as these. So these three are badger skulls. This one's got some nice teeth on it. And then this one's got the jaw, but no canines. These two here are pigeon skulls. And this one here, I actually found in a lake, is a tern skull, just a common tern. This one here is a rat skull that I found in the woods a little while ago. It's got some cute little teeth back there. Focus, focus. Uh, this one here is a hedgehog skull. It's not one of mine, don't worry. Um, and I can't actually remember where I found this one. I think I found it on the edge of a road. And got some cool teeth there. This here is a rook skull. It's actually quite big. It's a lot bigger than I would expect. And then this one here is a buzzard skull. Unfortunately, it is missing the beak. But you see, it's pretty big. This one here is a fox skull. And on my other video, my Q&A... I said lots of people can't tell the difference between badger and foxes, but if I do it from above, you can see that a badger's snout, a fox's snout is a lot bigger, or longer. And then this final one is my tawny owl skull. Well, final one out of all these. So I'm going to shut the door so Monty doesn't come and eat them, and then show you my other one. It is really windy. So... Here you can actually see two of the hedgehogs, the other ones in the corner, and they're doing really well. And if you come and join me Thursday, I'm hoping to have that as their release day. So please come onto my channel and see them be released because it'll be a great thing. I've had them since October. So yeah, anyway, back onto skulls. This here is another fallow deer skull that my mum found the other day. Uh, this one's definitely bigger than my other two. Quite, I said, well, it's quite clearly a really old one, but and then this skull is mucky, which is why it's not inside. Is what looks like a magpie skull. So yeah, those are my grubbier skulls. And then over there is the owl box. I really like this. So anyway guys, thanks for watching, please make sure to comment, like and subscribe and join me Thursday for the release of the Hedgehogs. Thanks for watching, bye.